everyone, welcome to this lesson. So in this lesson, we're going to actually introduce uh, two inbuilt functions in Excel, uh, Go Seek and Solver, to find roots of equations. So up to this point, you know four different techniques, the bisection method, the false position, the neutral mass, and the secant method, to find roots of equations. And you can write their associated code from scratch. So there are functions in Excel that are already coded for you. They apply most of the concepts that you already know, and they have codes behind them very similar to the ones that you just learned. But you can actually use them automatically if you want to find uh, roots of equations very quickly. Um, so here's a function that I chose. It's a cubic function. So a cubic function has three roots. And you can find that we have one around here, one around here, one around here. So we have three x values. The function value of them is zero. So much like with a lot of the techniques that we did, uh, we have to um, choose an initial guess. We're going to choose three, one for each root. So here we know it's around maybe a little bit above maybe 0.5. So let's take 0.5 as our guess for that first root. And here we see that it's a little bit below 2. So let's take maybe 2 as our guess around this area. And this one is about around uh, 7.5. So let's make maybe 7.2 is our guess. So the second thing I want to do is I want to get the function value at each one of those using the function that we have up here. So I'm going to say equal to this one, uh, power 3, and we're going to say minus 10 multiplied by um, uh, open parenthesis j14, um, then minus 1, close parenthesis power 2, and plus one. And we have that, and we're going to use autofill to apply the same thing to the other two. And yeah, it took J15, and that took J16 here. So uh, how you access um, the goal seek function is go to data. And if I actually maximize this, you're going to find that there's something called the what if analysis. So I want you to press down and go here. There's goal seek. So you're going to find scenario manager, goal seek, and data table. So go to goal seek. And what you're going to do is you have three things here. You have set cell to value by changing cell. What does that mean? I'm going to set a cell to whatever value I want by changing another uh, cell. So what do I want to do? I want to set this cell, which is the f of x uh, to a value of 0, right, because we're trying to find a root, by changing x. And if I do OK, so you can see that the f of x is negative 6.4 times 10 to negative 5, and that is very close to 0. It actually rounds up to 0. Um, and we have our first root at 0 0.644025. So let's apply the same thing to the next two here. So let's go to goal seek. And we're going to take this cell, um, f of x, we're going to set it to 0 by changing this cell. And press OK. And here, we're going to have negative 1.9 times 10 to the negative 5, again, rounds up to 0. And we have our root to be 1.865678. And you can see that is, in fact, around that range. And the first one, we said, yeah, it was uh, above 0.5, just slightly at 0.64. So let's do this to the last one, and we're going to go goal seek, set this cell to the value of 0 by changing this cell, and then press OK, and again, see, very, very close to 0, and we have a root at 7.490279, and in fact, it's around uh, this range. So very, very simple uh, way to find roots on Excel very quickly. Now, there's another way to do it, and it is to use something called Excel Solver. Now, this is a very simple problem. We're just finding the x value that the function value is equal to 0. Now, the solver can accomplish that, but what I want you to know is that the solver is a very uh, complex um, tool that can actually solve very complicated problems. There's a problem that I came across recently that um, there was a company that wanted to send 2,000 pounds of supplies to a refugee camp, right? And uh, they wanted to do this using parachutes. So the problem was that they wanted to do this at the least cost possible. So there are a few variables here. There is the design of the parachutes, how much weight that the parachutes need to uh, be carrying, because if it carries too much weight, the parachute will fall too fast that when the supplies hit the ground, they're going to um, uh, 
you know, uh, get shattered and actually get get uh, ruined. So there are many variables here that the costs depend on. So what the solver does, it sort of can handle such a complicated problem that it can change so many variables to make the cost uh, the minimum possible. So, but we're gonna use the solver to actually solve this very simple problem. So if you haven't used the solver before, you're gonna need to set it up. And the way you set it up, you go to file, and then you go to uh, options. And then you go to add-ins, and down here, manage, you're going to find Excel add-ins, then press go. And make sure that the solver add-in is checkmarked, and then press OK. Then uh, you're going to go to data, and you're going to find the solver is under analysis. So press on the solver. And it's going to be very, very similar to what we did with the goal seek. Uh, we're going to set objective, so the, our objective cell. Uh, so before you use the solver, let's actually uh, change this. So our initial guess to be open five, and this to be two, and this to be seven point two. So let's open the solver again. Uh, so we're going to set the objective, which basically I want to make the function equal to zero. And you can see with the solver here, it deals with maximizing something and also minimizing something. And this is what we call the optimization problems. And depending on the con uh, the context. A minimum might be optimum, or the maximum might be optimum. And what I what I mean by that is, if you're trying to, or you're dealing with error, you always minimize the error. So you're trying to find uh, the minimum amount of error, and that will be the optimum scenario for you. And sometimes, if you want to maximize uh, profits, uh, the optimum for you will be a max in this case. Uh, so I want to take this function. I want to put it set value of to zero by changing. And we're going to change this, for instance. And I'm going to say solve. And I'm going to say OK. And you're going to find we get the same value at 5.39 times 10 to the negative 7. So again, that rounds uh, down to 0. Uh, let's do the same thing for this one. Uh, this is my set objective. And I want to put it to the value of 0 by changing this cell here. And I'm going to solve it. And again, 1.86, we got the same value, so we're going to go to solver again. Uh, we're going to take this cell and value 2. I'm going to take also this cell and delete that. And I'm going to solve that. And again, we're going to have 7.490292. So very similar answers, or actually identical answers to the goal seek. Uh, but again, what I want to emphasize is that the solver is used for much more complicated problems that we're going to deal with in future lessons. And the problem that I uh, mentioned is actually solving a system of equations. You have the parachute itself, the dimension of the parachute is defined in one equation, or the weight is defined in another equation, and also the cost is defined in another equation. And what the solver does is trying to solve all of these equations to find what is the best combination of variables that would give you the minimum cost. And that's going to make sense in later lessons. So what did we learn in this lesson? We learned how to use Excel's inbuilt functions, especially the goal seek and the solver, to find roots of equations much like we did in uh, previous lessons. This very, very quick, you found how it's easy to use the goal seek. To recap also the goal seek, you go to data, it's under what if analysis, and also the solver is under analysis, but you first have to um, set it up uh, by adding the add-in uh, using um, the method that I showed you. Uh, well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.